Hey, tubers and footers. How's it going? It's cold here. Time for us to get rolling. Down to Oregon, where it's a little bit warmer. And there's more Sasquatches to look for. Stuff like that. So hey, wanted to talk to y'all. Because everybody's a little twisted and uptight and frustrated with what's going on in the world. So I thought you could use some a little silly me for a little bit. And you know what? Here's some straight talk. What we tend to focus on, they've already proven, you know, like with quantum physics and with the all of everything that we focus on and what we observe is the reality that is presented before us. So it all with all of society and humanity focusing on the worst we have to offer as humans, that's what we're gonna keep presenting is the worst we have to offer as humans. And when you think about everything that humans are capable of achieving when we actually come together drop lines and just come together as humans and to achieve a similar goal we can accomplish some cool things like look at what elon musk has done with the tesla car like all my life i've been told oh electric cars will never beat a gas motor well pff, that thing is blowing them away and that should be exciting to people. Like we should not allow humanity to be held back just because there's a select few people that want to retain their wealth. Like look at all the free energy and, and what has actually been stifled just because there's a select few that want to remain disproportionately wealthier than the rest. And I'm not against wealth. I'm not against capitalism. I'm all for that. But there comes a point when you look at history, like it's 2020, we have enough people and enough historical knowledge to be able to look at what we have done time and time again. So all the isms have been tried capitalism, communism, Marxism, socialism, like all those isms have been tried. And they get to a certain point where society grows. And unless you upgrade accordingly, those societies collapse, even the greatest societies. And so here we are, we're at that point, and this is on a global scale. So we need to start rethinking how we, as humans, choose to live. And that doesn't mean, you know, a lot of times society begins to romance the past because they fail to look forward and find new alternative ways of doing things. And usually when people have a hard time with change, they go back to what they know. And we should be beyond that. We have so much technology. There are other solutions available to humanity. Like we have like what Jack Fresco, you know, he spent his entire life researching what has caused societies to collapse, where humanity, why we keep re repeating, rinse and repeat this war mentality and this us versus them. And once you start getting to this us versus them kind of mentality, they start growing horns and they start becoming a demon. And before you know it, it's easy to extinguish that side of them because they're no longer human anymore and we've seen that rinse and repeat over and over and over and over again we don't have to keep doing this we really don't we should be at a point where as humans and with technology we could come together and marry those two look towards like a resource-based economy we as humans should be able to look at the resources all over the globe and say those belong to humanity and no longer have a family or a society or a state or a country own and and you know be able to present war and everybody wants to steal and everybody wants to take and like this is the kind of mentality we need to break out of we can do it. Like, we are there. 
we have enough people on the planet that are sick of repeat, rinse and repeat. Like I'm 50 years old and here I am, like what has changed in my life? Really, what has changed as far as society and the way politics are run? It's just more corrupt, more corruption. And so everybody can agree. And once we get into this red versus blue, us versus them, again, we're getting into that mentality where they grow horns and they, ah, they're demons and you know, why do we have to do this? So we can look at something like the Venus Project, which offers a way for humanity to look at all of, all of the resources as hu hu humanity's resources. And then we can use them accordingly. And look at all the waste. Like, look at how much we waste on just crappity crap, you know? And instead, we can take all of those resources and use them you know, with a lot of fortitude and, and, you know, we can think ahead. And again, I'm not part of the Venus Project, but I've looked into it and I've been looking into it for quite a long time. And, it, and he did great research. And that is something, if more people start focusing on those kind of solutions, instead of focusing on these kind of hectic, uh, um, frustrating, situations that we're finding ourselves rinsing and repeating over and over, we're going to keep rinsing and repeating them over and over. So we need to focus on solutions because everybody wants to point a finger at the bad guy. Well, as an analyst, I've spent all of my career finding solutions, <laughs> you know, making systems that don't talk to each other, talk to each other, making things that aren't supposed to work, work. And, you know, recovering from disasters, you know, these are things that I've spent my entire life working and getting paid to do. And now that I'm all messed up, you know, I'm forced in bed like last night. I was having a very, very hard night and I'm just looking around and it's like, come on, we, we are capable of so much more if we just spend our time focusing on what we are capable of. You know, look at free energy. Like how much has free energy been stifled just because there's a select few that want to remain disproportionately wealthier than the rest. And we can all see that the corruption is everywhere. So there are solutions to get out and beyond this human, you know, control and power grid because it doesn't matter we can keep rinsing and repeat, repeating the seats. When you change the seat every day, it doesn't matter if the seat is corrupt, then no matter who sits in it, it's gonna be corrupt. So we need to rethink the entire system on a global scale because we are global, we have the internet now. So why don't we start thinking like humans are capable of doing? Like think of like all the things that we could do if we work together, we all want the same thing on this planet. Every single person wants the same thing. And through a solution like the Venus Project, we are capable of going there and achieving those goals. And we all want the same thing in life. And that has that scalability for that type of differences and all of that. And so we should look towards solutions instead of this continual finger pointing at one another and finding a bad guy, because there'll always be a bad guy around the corner. So why don't we start focusing on something better, like solutions and getting us out of this mess. That's a better thing, in my opinion. So there's my serious talk. Time for some fun. What do you think? <laughs>